How you going? Shiny erect or ribbed thing in front of the... <laughs> Are you talking about this? <laughs> yeah. It's tidy, eh? <laughs> That's the, I've got the uh, 600B CPU in there from Carcinome. That's the confidential silver pole. Oh, yeah, this here, that's part of the shelving. That's the shelving unit. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm running the 600B confidential from uh Carcinome, I've got it clocked, so it's a 600 megahertz, right? It's a 4.5 times uh, 133 bus. Uh, I've got it clocked to five times, so it's running at 667 megahertz. And uh, I've just been doing some benchmarking. G'day, you will see. Yeah, <laughs> lots of old junk. Um, I've been doing some benchmarking and just to show you what I've received recently uh, a couple of or a few graphics cards rummage through the uh, box of bits here give you an update ah Sorry about that light shining in the uh, other camera there. So this is card FX 5700. Okay, so not not period appropriate for Pentium 3, but uh, that is a good running card. So that'll be good for an XP build, right? Pentium 4 maybe XP build. Yeah. So um, that's that's a nice card. I've been doing some benchmarking, which I'll show you the results of in a second. G'day Neo. How are you going today? Fine evening. This is another. So that uh, these these cards here came came from Trade Me. Um, put it this way, uh, I think landed. It was about forty, yeah, forty five bucks or something. Landed. It was like thirty five plus fifteen, maybe fifty bucks, for for a bunch of cards, uh, all untested. <laughs> but I, I took a punt. Um, this this here is the NVIDIA Quadro 2, so a more like a CAD slash workstation type card. Just doing a bit of reading on it. Uh, it's got ECC, ECC RAM. Equivalent to an MX, uh, GeForce 2 MX uh, slash 400, I think is what the site said roughly i also benchmark that that runs perfectly fine no worries um, this one also part of a trade me deal did 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 ati uh what model is it can't even i can't even remember what the uh what type of ATI that one is. Yeah, that 5200, uh, the 5700 will um, eat, eat that 5200, eh? Which is a bit of a weapon. But not not appropriate for um, ATI. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, that 5700 is not appropriate for the, P4, the P3. And this one, this came from uh, Zoe. And I knew, 
I knew it was a, a bit of a stab in the dark and, and actually Zoe, he didn't charge me anything for it. Um, and in fact, he didn't even charge me freight, which was bloody nice of him. I mean, it was, yeah, minimal freight, but still, um, I felt like uh, that was a very generous offer. Uh, it had a bad cap, right, which I've replaced. It's I've put a Nechicon, pretty nice cap in there. It's an MX four eighty EL G Force four. As far as I know, G Force four four forty. As far as I know, don't quote me on that. Uh, it's got RAM issues, so and you can see I haven't tidied up my flux here. I just banged it in for a quick quick test, but yeah, she she's got RAM issues. I uh, could probably. Maybe try tidying up this slot a bit better, cleaning that up. Uh, I'll whack it in anyway, and you can see what it's doing. And then there was a couple of uh, fruity, fruity type Apple E cards, which apparently are worth nothing. If anyone wants, if anyone's after, what did I do with them? I didn't bin them. I, you know, they might be useful to someone. Uh, have a look on the Discord actually. I did put photos up because I've got them here. There are photos in the mail day of those um, those fruity cards. If anyone's into that, give us a yell and um, free to a good home. Yeah. So. Is, uh, I've done some benchmarking. I originally in this P3, th this is kind of my Windows 2000 uh, ME sort of server type machine, although it's pretty good for gaming as well, especially if I put an appropriate card in it. It's not as fast as my Black Beast on the floor, which is the 800 meg, 800, 850 megahertz, 100 front side bus, that one. I can't for the life of me get your um, gigahertz CPU running in this machine either, Evil C. Uh, your your CPU's, CPU is fine. It runs in the Soyo. Uh, there's, there's definitely issues with the Soyo. Definite issues. Um, it boots, but yeah, there's all sorts of weird issues going on with that as far as graphical issues go. Um, so I updated the BIOS on this today, this afternoon, and I can't for the life of me get much luck out of anything uh, that I put on these slocket adapters except for Celerons running it. I think the most I've got out of one of these slockets is 100 megahertz on the front side. 133, anything 133? Uh, these these don't handle either that or the boards. But then again, this board here, this is now running at 133 with this slot CPU. So it's not anything to do with the board not handling 133. It's probably something to do with slocket adapters. Yeah, I'm wondering that, eh? So uh, unfortunately, at this stage, I'm not able to get your lovely one gigahertz CPU uh, running on a machine that, you know, will accept a graphics card that's, you know, uh, of any use, put it that way, for gaming. So it's really just a matter of, yeah, figuring out what's wrong with the Soyo board. It's, yeah, don't know. I pulled a cap from the Soyo board and measured it, and um, it measured fine. Yeah. I don't know what's up. Uh, I say I think I mentioned it on the Discord that I pulled a cap. It was a um, what the hell is it? It measured slightly higher. Put it this way: it measured slightly higher, um, in, in its um, capacitance than its rating, you know. And uh, the ESR seemed fine. There wasn't any problem there. Oh yeah, what was it? 
okay yeah it could be it's it's just potentially something but yeah something it's a bit finicky somehow yeah it, it um it's definitely it could be just uh, the order of as you say the order of installation maybe i need to try that um but yeah i've just sort of put it aside it's sitting on the on the workbench down here ready to fart around with uh yeah so um Kasanomi, i've got you've got that's your um 600b sitting in there confidential runs nicely got it overclocked <laughs> yeah engineering sample yeah yeah uh, took a bit of cajoling. I had to clean clean the slot a bit, um, and I had to sort of. At first, it didn't run in this machine, and this is the P3BF, and uh, it took a little bit of ch -ch -ch in and out, in and out, in and out with the bloody old slot there. But um, it sounded a bit rude, didn't it? Um, but anyway, it, it, ca it came into life, and I'm running it. Yep. It's running it, uh, I've overclocked it to 667 megahertz. <laughs> so instead of 4.5 front side bus, is that right? Yeah, oh, sorry, 4.5 multiplier, 133 front side, it's running it five times. Yeah. This board, this board's pretty handy for sort of overclocking shenanigans. Yes. What I wanted to show you though is uh, some of the benchmarking I did, and we've got so we're running with this uh, little quadro. Actually, seems like quite a nice little card. So I'll whack that back in there. And I'll show you the results. Oh, bloody good that it's Friday, isn't it? Hey. Been pretty full on, pretty full on um, work week. Oh, I've been full on for me for ages but um I, I do set myself being self-employed i need to set myself targets um you know to try and uh, keep up with the workload and and so yeah and so this week i had my week planned out and then um i decided well i had to i was called into nelson to do some work over there and that's so basically that's a day out of my work schedule that doing that you did you did uh so basically i had to cram bloody uh five days work into four days uh so yeah it's been pretty full on it's good though just sort of trying to keep on top of things yes friday Good stuff, eh? This was working just before. Very good. Beep code. Is that? Let me remove this card and see what the complains about if I remove this. Yeah, that's a uh, graphics card not detected, I would say, judging by that error code.
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Looking forward to it. Time for farting around with old computers. That's better. Doing some streaming. So I up, updated the BIOS uh, to the 1008 beta 04. And um, yeah, still not happy with um, that, those CPUs, Pentium 3s mainly in the socket, but anyway. We've been getting some really nice days, cold, frosty mornings, but really nice. And yesterday it was actually bloody mild, you know, relatively 15, 16 degrees, which is pretty bloody mild for middle of winter, eh? Unreal. Yep. Yeah, they seem to be a bit funny. Uh, the old slockets certainly give me jip. Um, so my only hope really to get that one gigahertz is to get this bloody Soyo going. But maybe I'll go through. I've got a clean install, which I've imaged. So um, I might have another wee play around. In fact, I could, I could uh, stream that maybe. We could have a wee look some stage okay so the f the funny thing here is and I, I'm going to have to do a sanity check because see that it, the one at the top there is a Pentium 3 running at 650 megahertz. That's the um, that's this uh, 650 beast here with the Quadro 2 in it gets 4903, right? Beating it's beating everything in this list. Uh, as I say, I'm going to have to swap the bloody CPU and do another do another benchmark and just see what the hell's going on there because maybe I labeled it incorrectly I'm not 100 percent sure um, but uh, so the FX 5700 and yes I know it's not period appropriate but it's just I was doing a bit of testing and um, I was putting that card through its paces I thought I might as well benchmark it but there it is just for interest with the Pentium 3 650 the FX 5700, it's pulling 4410. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe um, since I can't get that bloody gigahertz CPU to run, I can just run uh, the 5700 in, in this machine just to make up for it. <laughs> what do you reckon I can clock that six, 600 up? What do you reckon I can clock that 600 out to? <laughs> Yeah, I think it's that's that's what it seems like to me. Um, you know, I mean, I, I dropped fifty bucks on on these cards, um, and I've got two good cards out of it at least, and and a couple of those um, Apple ones left over, and so you know, twenty five bucks a card landed. It's not too bad, I thought, but still, you know, the fifty two hundred I. Um, basically got for nothing or 10 bucks or something, don't know. Well, <laughs> hey, I've got an Athlon here as well, you know. <laughs> we'll see, if I can't get my Athlon going, I don't know. Then again, uh, I've got a P4 build coming up. You might have to wrench pretty hard with that one, we will see. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so uh, and then 
So what I did is I whacked in the P3600B Cassie's card uh, CPU with the FX5700 and you see it's uh, at 600 megahertz, right? It's 4340, not much, not far behind the 650 at 4410. And then I overclocked said um, 600B to 667. And you can see it's pulling uh, 4755. And the Quadro, now this is an interesting thing. Look at the Quadro 2 with the overclocked 600 is 4208 as opposed to the 650 at 49. So that's why I want to uh, do a bit of a sanity check. I'll whack the 650 back in and I'll do another test with this Quadro. So let's see. Let's see what we come up with there. And just hoping I can get that bloody um, 600 running again, because I kind of had to hold my tongue a certain angle, you know, st stick it out just a certain amount, and yeah, got it going though. So I'll do that. I'll swap the CPU here. Yep. Five times one three three. Yeah. This is a nice board for bloody overclocking, man. I'm liking it. See, it looks like you can set the um is that to do with the AGP slash PCI bus. See here it's got slash 4433 after the 133 there. I take it that's your um, the speed of the of the bus. Yeah. Oh, the option at the bottom. Is that a 100 meg option? Sorry, I didn't take notice of that. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but wouldn't... So, yeah, for the 133. So, you mean for the... For this, Yeah. Uh, so for the one three three, yeah, I I had it. it so it was successfully running at this forty four slash thirty three here. <clears throat> Although I hadn't tested, you know, the network card or the sound card things like that. So I don't know what um, how they're going to behave, but it seems to be running all right, and it's running the. Um, benchmarks, etc. Yeah, set that to six fifty. Over rocking. Yep. <clears throat> I'm wondering what I can I don't really I'm never re I've never really been into overclocking. Um but I guess I could have a wee play. See what I can squeeze out of it. Hmm. 
Yeah, probably, yeah. Especially if, um, I don't know if I can adjust voltages or anything like that. Yeah. Well, we'll, we'll find out soon. <laughs> Do you have any sound at all? Am I hang on? Just put my monitor on. I don't have any sound yet. Let's just run this benchmark again. Oh, okay. I uh, I whacked on the standard one from um, the retro web. Okay, here we go. Oh, we'll have a look at that, Bias. Thanks for that. Yeah, that, uh, nice. Oh, there's all sorts there. Well, that's nice. I've got a couple of P2B-Fs as well. Um, so that'll be handy. Yeah. Just a pity I can't get the bloody slocket adapters to play ball, eh? Because then I could put the fancy gigahertz CPU on there. Anyway, it, it's it's sitting there ready to um, for when I get the SOYO board going. So I might do a bit of, bit more work on that in the weekend. So do you think that? Um, I need to do the chipset drivers absolute first thing, which I think I've done on that Sayo. I think I have done it in that order, but I couldn't be 100% sure now. I did so much, you know, farting around with it. times multiplier. That's the other thing I wanted to have a look at too is the um, is it power strip overclocking the graphics cards and things. Nothing to have a play with. Is that part of the chipset driver? That AGP guard? Oh, okay. Does that come with the standard VIA chipset drivers that you download? Or is it a separate? Yeah. Well I didn't I did install the four in one drivers. Um yeah. We'll have another go at it. Uh, not not tonight, but maybe um, maybe tomorrow afternoon or something like that. Sunday afternoon, maybe. Or well, the in-laws might be coming actually Sunday afternoon, so probably not Sunday afternoon. Maybe after if I'm sober enough.
Now this will be interesting. Let's see if I get the same result. <laughs> no, totally not. The complete opposite. <laughs> I was trying to explain to the father-in-law the other day. Uh, no, they're good. They're good. Um, I get on really well with them. Um, but my father-in-law was moaning about how computer playing games on computers uh, is antisocial, <clears throat> and um, I was like, well. In some ways, I guess you could say that, but in other ways, it's actually quite social because the kids these days, and even people like us, you know, all, all sorts of people, are meeting online and playing these multiplayer games. But what, you, what you've got to also understand is that a lot of these older people, they think it's like fucking Space Invaders. You know, you're going, pew, 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 shooting little alien ships going across screen. And, oh, you know, did you win your game? It's like, so they don't quite understand unless you actually show them that the, some of these uh, some of these games are quite complex and involved. And um, for 4517, that actually looks like it's normal, <laughs> like what it should be. Um, <clears throat> and he was like, no, 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 it's... You know, and then I said to him, well, back in the day, we used to get together, a group of us guys would get together, and girls, we had a couple of, we had a, one girl at least to turn up, um, one, of the, one of the guy's girlfriends she used to play, and we'd all get together on a Friday night, uh, about, could be eight of us, and we'd set up for the LAN party, and you guys know all about LAN parties, so I was explaining all that. And, you know, we'd play through until bloody three in the morning or whatever until we fell asleep, get up next day, do it again. And then uh, same thing Sunday. And then and it was like very social, really. But that is different today because you've got online. But, you know, and he was he was pretty negative. And then it was like two weeks later we went around again and he was like, oh, actually, I was having to think about what you were saying. And. I think you might be right, actually, what you're saying about these computer games and things. It, I was probably a bit harsh, and <laughs> he was he was coming around. It just took a little bit of explanation, you know, because a lot of as I say a lot of them are that not not purposely ignorant. They just don't know. They've never been exposed to it. So quite funny though. Uh, well, I don't know what how I got this weird result at the top there, 4903. Just in the meantime, I'm going to um, call it V2. Not Voodoo 2. Take. Take that. <laughs> I'm hearing you on that one, Dirty Jester. Yep. Um, you get a lot of people saying that your yeah, computer games are bad for you because you're get, you're getting square eyes, but they'll sit and watch TV all night. Oh God.
20 beers, <laughs> drink 20 beers and play some games. Dog. Oh, my son was a, he was diabolical for, um, he's pretty, he could be watching. I better be careful. <laughs> he used to get up in the middle of the night and, um, his mother, I think, would put, pack up the computer and take it up and put it away somewhere in a cupboard or something. And he'd sneak up at night time, get it all out of the cupboard, take it down to his room, set it up in his room, play in the middle of the night, you know, and then sneakily get it all back before mum found out. Pretty funny. Right. I'm tempted to delete that um, that top result. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of what card it would have been or what setup. It was it was definitely with the P3650. But why I got four nine and uh, you know the best out of everything. So what did we get? Four five. Hey look. It's actually, so that's running faster than the overclocked 600. It's running faster than the 600 with the FX 5700 in it. And faster than, it's faster than the FX 5700 in this test. Anyone want to hazard a guess? Why? I mean obviously the 5700 it's hobbled somehow isn't it? You know. But interesting reading. I think I'll take that Quadro 2 out of there, that original one, because I've just redone the test. I, yep. That's the one that we just ran. Um, you look at the CPU speed though for the, let's compare those. Oh, it's not that much difference actually. Not open two at a time. Uh, so the 650 is 9880 CPU. The 667 is 9934. That makes sense. Just a bit slower in the actual 3D mark. Yeah, this is, look, it was, this is the, hang on, oh, 4410, that's the one I've just done. Yeah. Yeah, I would have thought that the six six seven would have would have been faster. 
3D marks. Because I think I had the bus speed up higher as well, didn't I? I guess what I could do now is um, whack in the, uh, the 600, overclock it. And then have a wee play with those bus speeds and see, you know, what uh, difference that would make. Next question, is it going to fire up? Yep, good. See it sets it at 133. <laughs> oh, you didn't see that, sorry. Uh, it's locked up. Yeah, this is what it does sometimes. I think it's more likely a, a slot issue than, than anything else. Sometimes just... Just a bit of a... I do go around on the slot and it seems to <laughs> seems to come right. There you go. Now it's picking up at six fifty. Five times. This is what I've been setting it to. Right, so there are options here. We've got 133 slash 44.33. Now, would that be uh, AGP speed dot PCI? Is that how, I mean, am I reading that right? Or is it the other way around where it's PCI and then AGP? I don't know. So the other option is 33. Point two five. You can't see that. <laughs> see that there? 
133 slash 33.25. Oh, I see. I get you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that makes sense. And that'll be the PCI, right? Yeah, left is the front side. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay, that makes sense. Let's do some benchmarks just based on um let's do 44.33 as a well actually I think I've already done that. Let's just set it to 3325. Right. Oh yeah, okay. 88 megahertz, whereas it should be 66. So this is the 33.25, 33.25, just noting that. Do we have any sound? That's the other thing. I couldn't hear anything there. They're just going to lock up. Yeah, this is all stuff I've got to get my head around. This, all this AGP guff. And then it'll be interesting to to see what sort of effect you know changing those uh, bus speeds have on the likes of the fifty seven hundred. I'm almost tempted to put the fifty seven hundred into my other machine, the eight fifty, and maybe put the fifty two hundred into this. It's cheating, I know, but I can't get my gigahertz CPU running. That's my excuse. So far.
chain seems pretty stable, this P3BF. Yeah, so if all goes well to, uh, tomorrow afternoon, I think I'll try to. Um, I might have another play with the with the Soyo on stream, and you, you know you'll get a real taste for uh, potentially what it's what it's doing, and maybe we can have a, a think about what could be causing the issues. As say, I don't think it's caps. Not a hundred percent sure. The other thing that went through my mind is the AGP slot. It's a bit dodgy, but I don't. I've had a really good close look at it, and I, it looks different to other AGP slots. But I, I, I think it's okay. Um, yeah, we'll we'll have a muck around with it anyway. You can see what's going on. Uh, so probably tomorrow afternoon. Uh, I don't know, mid afternoon. Stream that, possibly. See how we go. Not sure why my other computer's not starting up. What's going on there? Wonder how much I can overclock that one. <laughs> Radio four two two three. Four two two three. Uh, that is the six six seven B with quadro two. It's slightly faster than having the um, PCI clocked at forty four point three three. In there. Yeah. Uh, so that was 33.35. That was uh, 44.33, I think that's right. Yeah. That makes for interesting reading.
I think I'll leave that. Uh, I'll leave that clocked at thirty-three point two five. Seems to seems to be okay. Thirty. I have been playing uh, off off stream. I've been playing Wolfenstein. <laughs> I'm in the catacombs. Uh, it's quite scary, actually. I I was playing it the other night in the dark, and I had my over ear headphones on, and yeah, it's a bit scary. I think probably that game is nearly as scary as bloody Doom Three. Uh, I haven't played the modern Doom, but um, yeah. <laughs> Okie dokie. Well, uh, the other thing I wanted to quickly do is get this driver for the Quadro. Oh, was it the Quadro I downloaded the... Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, I just want to get the driver for Quadro running on Windows 2000. I think I'll leave the Quadro in here in the meantime. Seems pretty good. I'll put it through its paces. Not sure I want to play Need for Speed with it. Give it a go, maybe. Hey, there's a new Windows update uh, just released. So, oh. <laughs>
this is going to be my server. I think I've uh, mentioned that. It's going to be my little retro server. The only thing with having this Windows 2000 machine as my little retro file server <coughs> is you've got to turn it on. You've got to have it on, you know, sitting there running. Seems a bit of a waste. I like the idea of the little um, NAS box, you know, sitting there in the corner to do this. Yep. Yep. I thought uh, I would see how this goes, but, you know, practically, as I say, you've got to have the machine on. Just. Yeah, yeah, no, that, that sounds like a good plan. Um, I was thinking about maybe trying a, to set up like a Raspberry Pi, uh, a little NAS somehow. That would be quite cool, just a low power option. Just something sits in the corner and chugs it away. Then, uh, well, I'm thinking, what shall I play? Any, anyone got any preferences? I mean, the, the, the things that I've been playing lately are Need for Speed, uh, Hop Street 2, badly, <laughs> I might add. Um, God, yeah, the other night, I know, I know I was hitting all the bloody, hitting all the walls and stuff, but that bloody that Lamborghini I just wasn't um I'm just not used to that Lamborghini it just gets up so much speed and the other thing is that uh force feedback joystick it's just so much travel in the bloody thing to actually start braking you've got to pull it you, you don't just sort of let it go come into its central position obviously that's not braking it's just foot off the gas and then you've got to come back a whole lot more to get the brakes on, and it's just a huge amount of travel. Um, I don't think it's actually ideal for that game. I'm starting to starting to think. <laughs> uh, but I'll persevere with it. I like it. The steering side of it is, is really nice. Yeah. The steering is good because you've got, there's a whole lot of resolution there, you know. And there's a lot of resolution with the step, with the uh, acceleration and the braking as well. But you've just got to be really careful. And that bloody Glambo, man, that gets up some speed. Um, so that's that's all good. The other game I'm enjoying is Railroad Tycoon 2, which doesn't tax this machine in the slightest, uh, but I'm enjoying it. But I do have to be aware that uh, it's a slow paced game, you know. Oh, yeah. Yes. SMB1 is required. I've noticed that um, it looks like Windows 10, they've, it looks like they've knocked SMB1 on the head. You know how you could uh, tell it to accept those connections? Well, I don't get that option anymore, and I, I wonder whether a Windows update's hammered it. Um, are you going to stream, Kelsey? Are you streaming your Amiga shenanigans? Yep. 
I'd be quite keen to see that. Uh, if you want to crank up your stream, I'll just, I'll, I'll raid you, shall I? <laughs> I'll probably just end up playing Need for Speed badly. Um, yep. Yep, definitely. Uh, I got the, the 5700, runs nicely. Um, and you are currently looking here at the Quadro 2. Yep. Cool. Okay, mate. Um, yeah, so we've got the Quadro 2 running here nicely. The uh, the MX480 EL Zoe's one. I replaced the cap. I think you saw that. Um, that's a no-go. Actually, I can show you that. Do I want to show you in that one? Uh, yeah, I can show you that. It, it looks like RAM. The Quadro 2, um, this is a an MXR, and it's comparable to, um, it's comparable to a GeForce 2 MX, apparently. So, you know, it's 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 average. Where did I put it? Yeah. Yeah. It it seems pretty good actually. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, let me find the card. Oh, here it is. Here, the MX four eighty EL. This one. Right. And I replaced this cap here. That that one there was the one that had it was blown, spewed its guts. You know, I guess, um, well, you'll see, uh, you'll see it and you'll, I'm, I'm sure you'll agree that you're, uh, that it's RAM. See that? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. That looks like RAM. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, this Quadro, there's the Quadro there. ECC memory, workstation grade, quite nice. So yeah, that's not a happy camper. I'm not sure whether I'll go ahead and fix it up. Don't know. Budget workstation. <laughs> there is budget workstation. But apparently uh, they were used in workstations, but yeah, as you say, it's just nothing flash.
I am going to try some need for speed with this uh, die. Um, just to see. Ah, yeah, it was doing this before. Just need a reseat. Does that? I think it's like it's safe mode, eh? When it boots, like this uh, booster can. I'm just going to hop into 2000 first because I want to transfer my game from my other computer. Um, because uh, if I actually make progress, it'd be handy to have it saved. Hoping it won't take too long to copy through the network. I really need to narrow down on where the save, you know, where the status of the um, the game, the. Oops, it's done it again. The status of the campaign as such, you know, I'd like to know where that actually lives. If it's just a folder or a file, I can just transfer that particular folder or file through the through the network and just transfer it onto any machine that I want to play uh, the game with and actually progress. <laughs> it's um because that's the 600b the confidential uh engineering sample from Cassie. overclocked yeah five times instead of 4.5 <laughs> we'll soon see uh if it's stable because I'm sure Need for Speed will be pushing, pushing it pretty hard. Oh, okay. Well, it's not actually a six six seven. It's a uh, six hundred. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me see if. Uh, how big this game is. Perhaps, I mean, where does it store all that? Anyway, I'll, I'm tempted just to copy the whole, the old kit and caboodle.
here. Are they using some sort of rounding though, do you think? 133, it's not 133.33 or something silly, is it? Three minutes to copy that game. What I could do is set up a like an X copy just to copy newer files, eh? That would be a nice, quick, clean way of doing this. Oh, the other thing I need to think about is joystick. Feedback. Oh, wrong computer. Oh, I can't do that at this stage. I, you know how, um, well, you, you know we've got Alice. Well, I walk a dog, a neighbor's dog. And oh, I was going to play a little bit of it. It's only got 40 seconds to go, so maybe next time um, I'll show you the neighbor's dog. He's, he's a laugh. He's a um, uh, whip it cross. <laughs> Nearly done here. Oops. Okay. He's not too bad, not too bad, but <clears throat> um, the dog's name, the dog's name's Pickle, and he is, he's pretty good, he's well trained, except he will chase cats if they run, and like he's pretty good, but I, I actually don't trust him around Alice, I just, I just, like I've had him over here on the lead, but when he's looking at Alice, he's extremely excited, and it, I just think that Alice might be drilling right down into the core of his uh, brain to the innermost depths of his um, wolf, inner wolf, you know. And I just worry that he's just going to do something terrible. <laughs> And my save game should be there. Let's check the joystick. Just using the Precision Pro on this one. Uh, hopefully that isn't too loud. hear anything at all.
Copy, 31. Turning on a speeder that just flew by me. So we're running on the Quattro 2 here. It. Oh, it hasn't picked up my profile. Is it? Oh, no, it hasn't. That doesn't matter. Let's just, um. I'll have to work that out later. Now I had everything turned up with the FX5200, but let's just see how that goes. 1024 by 768, 32 bit. With things turned down slightly, that's basically what the um, computer, I think, what the game actually detected is appropriate, but I, I have turned it up a bit. Well, let's just see how it goes. Oh, before I do that, though, I have to be careful here because the um, music. I get content strikes with this game. I'm gonna make sure I'm actually on the right. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Yeah. That's all good. Oh, I didn't see many. Maybe it doesn't like 
Okay. Time to declock this thing. Yeah. Crashed. Crashed and burned.
Test you now. Forty-six count. I've got him again. Commencing pursuit. Vehicle the blue voxel VX two twenty. Copy forty-six. Seems to run alright when there's not too much going on as far as opponents, cars, cops, other traffic. Commencing pursuit. Vehicle is a blue box all BX220. Copy 31. Well, it didn't crash. I think I might have been pushing it. That's not too much. Right? Let's try the fifty-seven hundred. Give it a kick in the guts.
Yeah. Um, I like it because uh, you've got a bit more analog control rather than the sort of the binary of your um, keyboard. If, if a keyboard's what you normally use, I don't know, but um, I notice quite a few people play with a keyboard. I can play it with a keyboard, but through the joystick. See how much difference this makes, or whether it's sort of uh, CPU bound. Noisy fan, and it comes right after about a, two minutes. I'll have another quick go at this, and then we'll uh, we'll raid Cassie. It's the same, it's exactly the same.
This is your final lap. Yeah, doesn't stop at once. It's just awful smooth. Third. Yeah. Let's see what all my pass is up to. I am for the watch on. Might put your oops, maybe tomorrow. Let's see what we got. Please let me. Right, Cassie. 